My area of expertise is testing and evaluation. And going back a number of years as a scientist within Kinetic and its predecessors, I used to get involved in a number of trials delivering important evaluation evidence to our customers. Over the last three or four years, I've been responsible for renegotiating the long-term partnering agreement with the UK MOD, where we manage a number of UK strategic test and evaluation capabilities, and they deliver important output to our customer. And the change in the contract now allows us to invest in those capabilities to make sure that those capabilities and facilities are fit for purpose for the future. What I'm now doing is, is bringing that expertise and experience to how we look at what test and evaluation needs to be in the future for our global customers and how we can develop those capabilities for them. So the test and evaluation capability that Kinetic provides allows our customers to do a number of things. It allows our customers to experiment with new technology and understand what it can deliver and how it can help them in delivering their outcomes. It allows our customers to understand the capability that they're purchasing and that it's safe and performs as it's meant to. It allows our customers to train with that capability as well and understand how they might change their tactics to operate in a new way. And then it also allows our customers as well to understand where they need to upgrade or, or procure new capability to allow them to deliver what they need for the future to deal with the emerging threat. With the change of pace of technology, we're seeing a proliferation of threats that we've never seen before for our militaries, from small drones and low-cost threats to the very high capable threats such as hypersonic weapons. So our customers need to deal with those and be able to react to those um, really rapidly as we go forward. And, and what that's doing is that's driving a lot of investment into next generation of platforms, aircraft, ships, submarines, and our customers need to understand what they can deliver and how they can react to those threats. And test and evaluation is fundamental to them being able to verify and validate that capability and how that capability needs to operate together um, both within platforms and subsystems, between platforms, and also with coalition partners as well. Um, so test and evaluation is absolutely fundamental, and as it goes forward, needs to become much more um, rapid and agile and a perpetual cycle of validation to be able to ensure that that military capability is fit for purpose. A good example is Carrier Strike Group. Carrier Strike Group comprises ships, submarines, missiles, unmanned systems, a whole host of assets that need to come together and operate together. And over the years, Kinetic will have tested and evaluated all of those individual assets in their own right. We'll have undertaken platform testing, subsystem testing to ensure that they operate as they should. What Carrier Strike Group does is brings that together and allows us to check that they all operate together and can be orchestrated to give the military capability effect that is required. There are three major challenges for our customers. The first of those is that the threat is evolving really rapidly and our customers need to understand that the military capability they have can react against that threat and how to use it. The second one is that technology is advancing very quickly as well and we need to enable our customers to get that technology into the hands of the warfighters much faster going forward to deal with that threat. And thirdly and importantly, we need to be able to do all of this under increasing fiscal pressure to get that capability into the hands of warfighters at reduced cost and reduced time. There are five fundamental ways that test and evaluation needs to change going forward. The first of those is the creation of an evaluation digital thread, a single assured version of the truth. Secondly, we need to much more embrace model-based evidence into our decision making. Third, we need to validate that with live data that comes through from trials and revalidate the models. Fourthly, we need to create mobile and deployable evaluation capabilities to enable our customers to carry on checking the health of their capability when they're deployed. And lastly, we need to embrace live virtual and constructive capability to enable our customers to really understand the military capability that they have in the future. The increased value that Kinetic will deliver in the future is to help our customers understand what technology can offer them, how to embrace that technology, how to integrate that technology, and how to de-risk that technology so it can get into the hands of warfighters quicker. And then as they procure that technology and those platforms, it will help them to understand and de-risk much earlier to make sure that those programs deliver on time and against cost to again get that capability in the hands of warfighter quicker. 
We'll help our customers to evolve their tactics by understanding how those capabilities can react to the threat they're seeing. So fundamentally what we're doing is really accelerating the pace of warfighting capability into our users' hands.